morning. How's everybody? Um, little uh, pop quiz since you're back in school, right? We're going to keep you awake on Friday. This is the last day of classes for our students here at the Mount. So a little bit of a pop quiz. Um, for those of you that it's your first time here at Mount St. Mary's, could you raise your hands? Well, we welcome you. And those that don't have your hands raised, we welcome you back, back to the Mount. Um, I guess about eight, nine months ago, I was visited by uh, Michael West and Elizabeth uh, Prongus. And to say that, uh, you know, you guys uh, are passionate about this cause and this meeting today is an understatement. Um, their energy was contagious, and you certainly got through to me quickly, and we hear your message. We're thrilled to be here today and to host this uh, event with you. Um, for those of you that aren't familiar with the Mount, uh, the Mount uh, next Sunday is going to graduate its 204th class. 204th. So we, <laughs> it's amazing. Thank you. It's amazing. When the Mount began, um, our president was Thomas Jefferson. Uh, that's how long we've been around. So we have been stewards of Mary's Mountain for a long time. And I trust that you had a moment or two to see our campus uh, this morning because it's a beautiful place and we take great pride in it. And Dr. Thomas Powell, the president of the Mount, was not able to be here with us, be with us this morning. But uh, Mrs. Powell is here, Irene. So let's give Irene a little hand and welcome. Mount St. Mary's is formed on four pillars. And those pillars are faith, discovery, leadership, and community. And no matter where you go on this campus, you're going to see those things today. And I think our fourth pillar is most important to us today, community. This is what it's about. What a great facility to have you spend your day in, uh, the Nott Auditorium. Um, I hope you enjoy it as much as we do. The Mount is unique for a number of other reasons. Obviously our age, um, but our commitment to faith. You are seated today at the birthplace of Catholic education in the United States. Elizabeth Ann Seton came to this mountain, and along with our founder, John Dubois, uh, began what is known as Catholic education in this country, up at our grotto, and her rock is still there. It's kind of fun to go there with visitors, and there's a, a small plaque that's there that recognizes that, but that's really where it all began. Um, it is interesting, there's only one Catholic college that's older than the Mount in the United States, and that's Georgetown. But you hear of these others, and they have these great histories, like our friends at Notre Dame. Um, but we were here a long time before they were. During the Civil War, they had a little bit of financial trouble, and they turned to the elder statesmen of Catholic education because they needed a helping hand. And we were there for them and gave it to them. Uh, we're looking forward to the day where they pay that back um, uh, with interest. <clears throat> but we'll see. The Mount is also a place of great history, not just our Catholic history, but the roads that you drove on this morning and the paths that you walked on both the North and the South walked on those roads. Uh, after the Battle of Gettysburg, both uh, casualties from the North and the South were treated here at the Mount. Didn't matter where you're from, we treated you. And that, I think, is an interesting thing because we are very, very close to the Mason-Dixon. And the Mount played a unique part in history during that terrible conflict and that terrible time in our nation's history. And maybe one of the most important things today that we share is nature here at the Mount. It's a beautiful place. It's Mary's Mountain. Um, we have been fortunate. We know uh, those that have young children, you know, we hear the term now helicopter moms, helicopter parents. Uh, we got the ultimate helicopter mom hair. Um, she kind of shines down on us night and day. And I guess for the last 60 years that she's been there, she's never once turned her back on us. And that's a, that's a good thing. And we appreciate that. But if you look at the nature here at the Mount, uh, it's incredible. And I think for a long time, uh, those that came to the Mount um, didn't take advantage of the Mount and the beauty that we have here. We now have one of the most outstanding outdoor adventure programs in the nation here at Mount St. Mary's. And it's funny, when our students are up on the mountain rappelling or hiking or canoeing, kayaking, what have you, um, they'll often see schools like George Washington, uh, Marymount, uh, Catholic, uh, schools from Virginia, coming to this mountain to do those things. All we have to do is walk out the back door. But with that comes great responsibility. And I trust that you will see today 
and on future visits here to the mount that we do take care of this mountain. Uh, you probably noticed that we have a little bit of a solar farm going in across the way. Did anybody happen to see it? It's kind of small. You may not have seen it. Did you see it? Yeah, it's, uh, it's actually uh, one of the three largest east of the Mississippi. It's huge. It's huge. And at the moment, it's like looking at a house that's being constructed. It's not the most beautiful. But just wait. Once we kind of get our hands around and get nature around, it's going to look terrific. And I'll just share this one little fact with you. We turned on one of the smaller arrays about two weeks ago over by our ARC, which is our athletic complex. And that powers that side of campus for us. And the early estimates are that that sun that's hitting those panels, and it's the same sun that was hitting that bare earth back when Jefferson was president, back when John Dubois founded the mount. Um, it helped grow grass and do great things, but now it's generating power. And that saves the mount approximately $500 a day in power. Just the little piece of it. The big piece is going to our friends down in College Park. So we no longer here at the Mount fear the turtle, we power the turtle. <laughs> you may not know this either, but in our location, the Mount actually runs two utilities, uh, water and wastewater treatment. And that's uncommon for most schools. We're the most highly regulated industry there is, higher ed. And then throw on two more. Does anybody else run you know, a utility at their house or their work? No, maybe, yes? Yeah, a little bit of water, a little bit of wastewater. Costs a lot of money. Uh, but we do it, and I think we do it very, very well. So let me close with this. Um, we welcome you. We are thrilled that you're here. Enjoy your time at the Mount. I have, I think my first steps here were in 1979. I went here, I graduated in 85, and um, there's not a day that goes by that I don't enjoy be being here. If you want to learn more about the Mount, we have a terrific group, and I see some of our friends from the Park Service. Um, in the parks, you'd be lost without your friends groups, right? Yeah, guess what? Um, having worked for Fairfax County Parks, uh, Irene and I decided to create something here at the Mount called the Friends of the Mount. So if you'd like to know more about the Mount, like to know what's going on here, like to come to concerts, or interested in art, want to go with Irene and Tom Powell to see the solar farm on a, maybe a tour, walk our trails, et cetera, come to our games, uh, we welcome you to do that. And it's very simple to go to the Mount's website, msmary.edu. Search for friends, pretty simple, and you'll find us. We do a great newsletter every month. We'll keep you up to date as to what's going on. We hope that this isn't your last time here at the Mount. And again, we welcome you. Thank you very much. Have a great day and a great conference.